today on the channel, we're taking a look at the Cobra Crimson Viper from the G.I. Joe Classified line. Uh, I was able to pick this figure up from my local Walmart just recently. I had a pre-order on Amazon for a November 1st release date, but was able to find this, like I said, at the local Walmart, so I just picked it up early. Early for me, I don't know if it's coming out in the States a little bit sooner, probably is. I'm not really sure. If not, it's if it's not out already, it's coming out in November. So, yeah, um, I wasn't able to get any of the original uh, Vipers just because. Uh, well, they were Target exclusives. We don't have Targets here in Canada, and then the three pack. It's still uh, you know up for sale on uh, Amazon. And it goes on uh, sale from time to time, but I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I guess I just wanted one uh, when they initially came out. So a three pack was kind of like, uh, just wasn't in the mood for a three pack of them. So yeah, so I'm finally able to get a, a Viper figure here. Looks pretty cool. Let's take a look. So here's the Crimson Viper in his packaging. Pretty sharp looking packaging on these uh, on these figures. Number 85 in the line. It's kind of meaningless at this point. I don't know if anybody's keeping track of the numbers. It says his height, what he comes with. With these G.I. Joe classified figures, I love how out of the box they come in this little coffin with like a picture in the background here. I think this looks like really awesome. And uh, yeah, it just looks great. And I like how they come with these like little boxes with the accessories, either the G.I. Joe one or a Cobra one. Number 85, Crimson Viper, these like little lockers. I don't know, I think it's a nice little touch. I think it was, this is it's pretty fun to take out of the package. So here's the Crimson Viper out of the package. Looking really good. As far as accessories, he comes with this pretty nice looking backpack. There's lots of, there's lots of little details here. The black, the red, the black again. These little canister things here, white, the rope. This is really nice. So this is a beautiful backpack. I don't really put the backpacks on the Joes too much though, or the the, the Vipers or the the Cobras, I should say. Um, just because it makes them so back heavy, they end up falling over for me. So when he comes with this nice blue bandana or around the neck thing, I don't know. I'm gonna have him just holding it like a, I don't know, like some sort of like, like basically just like, I don't even know, like the gain color for Cobra is like uh, blue. So I'm going to have him just like holding on to it, I think. That was what I was planning. Comes with a pistol. Now this is where things start to fall apart <laughs> for me. Uh, like I want realistic weapons. I don't like these like Nerf guns. So I do not like this gun at all. But uh, yeah, I am. I did get two of these guys. So I'm planning on having them... Uh, be like Praetorian guards for Serpentor. So maybe I'll have them just like holding their gun like like something like th like this. So it won't be so uh well you won't see the weapon as much. So I'll, I'll see how that uh, how that looks though. And he also comes with goggles. So which are pretty nice. Obviously why does he come with goggles? Well to me uh, I guess I always thought like I guess for some reason if he had to take the helmet off that he would like, he you know, say if this got like smashed up or something, that he would take the helmet off and then he would take the goggles and then wear just the goggles? Because yeah, to wear goggles over like a helmet visor thing like this, like that doesn't make any sense. But I guess that's the way I always interpreted it, that he would like take the goggles and put them on if he removed the helmet and he just like stored them up there. Like that's, like I'm trying to make sense out of something that doesn't make any sense, I think is what's going on there. So... Um, the figure looks, the paint looks really good. The shade of red, like it's not too bright, it's not too dark. I think they chose a good shade of red. Looks pretty good. 
the the face visor thing looks nice it's shiny it's not just like a dull gray it is like shiny like mirrored so looks pretty good it's got these like little white things going on here i don't know what that is it's supposed to be maybe some clips it's got some little canisters up here also it's got these removable gauntlets you just like pop the hands off then you can like remove these these uh, wrist gauntlets or whatever. It's got the nice Cobra logo. Everything's nothing's looking sloppy or there's no like paint drips or anything. It looks super clean. Um, yeah, it's got that Cobra like inside. You know this 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 pattern here on the outside and inside looks really good as far as articulation goes um i guess because he's wearing the helmet and he's got this big thing and there's not there's no he can't really look up but he can look down and you know side to side a bit does he have he does have butterfly joints can't get much movement out of them um double hinge elbows Bicep cut up there, not pinless. I don't. I think, yeah. There's a couple of the fi figures that are pinless, and then some do have pins. But the, I guess that's just the way it goes. Um, so basically, the the normal GI Joe articulation, like you can't really get much waist movement on this guy just because of this big bulky vest. But yeah, so drop down hips, so. Yeah, so basically the normal G.I. Joe articulation here, so. So so basically for me, like, this is, like, the perfect articulation just because it has the butterfly joints, and then it doesn't have a, a oh, it does have a thigh cut. Oh, but it's hidden. So, like, but I'd still rather have no thigh cut. I do not like the thigh cut. I know people like it. I don't like it. And, um, and the no toe, toe articulation, I hate that. So... Like, th this is okay. I feel like if it can be hidden to this degree, um, but still things don't line up then. So I just, uh, I just really don't like when the thigh moves around like that. So. Uh -oh. Put his gun in the holster here. Let me see if I can't move this down here a little bit. So yeah, I was just gonna, uh, I guess, we'll, well, whatever hand, I'm not gonna have him uh, holding the, the weapon. Uh, yeah, I don't know, that was just in my head to have him holding it like, a, I don't know, just like a gang thing, like the Cobra. Like even though he's all in red, he's still a Cobra, so he's like, he has like the, they're like colors or something. Versus having it around the neck, I think that just looks very, uh, not good, it's not a good look. Yeah, so, and uh, again, my plan was to have maybe him holding the gun like this. I'm sure I'll be able to get it like wedged in his hand and balanced. So we just would, you know, be standing against the Pentator's side. So yeah, I was basically just going to have him pretty much standing like that with the gun. Uh, is more of like in a guard stance or whatever. Um, I don't know him. Him holding the the rake. Why would he? Why would why would a Praetorian guard just be standing there holding this uh, this bandana thing here? But I don't know. So maybe I'll move it around. I'm not sure. But uh, I am happy with the figure. It does uh, it does look really good. Um, I don't know. I, I've been uh, like back and forth on the GI Joe line. Uh, like two times, I completely got out. I just said, ah, oh, I can't take it anymore because I wasn't able to get the figures and the and the the first stages and then yeah but things have picked up and they've kind of you know they've kind of gotten a little bit better although people like me well i guess probably everybody is still like waiting for a we're not waiting but we're wanting a hooded uh, cobra commander which will never come out but like i think like that's what i think the first figure that should have been released would have been a hooded cobra commander so the fact they don't want to do it for like uh, you know, other kind of reasons is 
kind of crazy. I'm also not going to display them with the, the goggles just because, again, goggles on a helmet, like very strange. But uh, so that's it for the review for the Crimson Viper from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Uh, I guess the next figure that everyone's pretty much waiting for and excited for is the the Shockwave figure. Seems to be the most popular figure coming out next, or maybe altogether. Like it seems like Shockwave's just um, just very popular. I think everyone remembers like the card back from like the originals, him just looking just like so awesome, so uh, like different but the same, still military but more of like a SWAT kind of guy. So. And then uh, I guess uh, Firefly also. I'm sure a lot of people are excited for that one. I guess there's a whole slew of ones coming up. Um, so I actually, well, I canceled my pre order for Grunt and Low Light just because I am interested in them, but I'm not like super excited in them or for them. So I don't know. They just seem a little like subdued colors and they seem like i don't know just a little bit on the boring side i guess so yeah but we'll see we'll see in the future i don't know so um subscribe to the channel for more videos like this more reviews and um if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i'm john soroka and i'll catch you next time thanks bye